Welcome to Dub Town, a great place to live, full of wonderful happy people. Oh look, there's brother and sister Oldtimer. Hello Oldtimers. They are incredible examples of faith in the face of absurdity. They've seen so much new light, they probably have to wear sunglasses all the time. Come with me on a journey into the spiritual paradise in Dubtown. There's so many characters for us to visit. See how the children play in their sanctioned recreational time. And oh look, two of our loving shepherds engaged in the important cart ministry. Let's have a closer look at what's going on over there, right in the heart of Dubtown. There was fine brothers setting the lead in the public ministry. Oh look, here comes the public now. Hi there! Oh dear, they don't seem interested in speaking to the public. Perhaps they're hoping for the stones to cry out. They seem busy talking to each other. Let's listen in. So, Derek, in our next elders meeting, we need to discuss local needs for the next three months. Yes, Roger. We do. Let's see. What what areas are the brothers not doing good enough? Well, we could do a talk at the Kingdom Hall about the poor meeting attendance. What do you think? You know, Roger, I think that is a cracking idea. Your experience in Bethel has really come in handy in our congregation, you know. Oh, what's this? The cart seems to be moving on its own. This reminds me of a similar true story of a smurf that ran around the Kingdom Hall. I hope the cart doesn't start singing. Oh no. I'm just a cart made up of Lego pieces. A frame, a handle, and some wheels. But I'm a card that helps pretend to give a witness. What is that like? Let me tell you how it feels. If you could see what I think, if you could visit all the boring ass places I go, if you could see there's no people there. And get a glimpse of all the feces that I get to hear. If you could hear, right by here, that's when you wonder how it can be that forever they repeat these lies. I've got dogma in my tracks, I've got books written by hacks. I take this corporate message everywhere. What a feeling to go with I'm so glad to be a demon possessed card. Wow, that's awesome. Oh no, Roger. That's two hours we've clocked up where we've made JW.org's name now. Time for a coffee break, don't you think? 